Hey guys, what's up? You're watching Interviews with Alternative Indian. Today we have Gris Folk. Hey there. What's up? Hello. So, um, congrats on another great tour. And this tour, you guys are touring with AJR. So that's really cool. And um, we want to know how's it been so far? It's been really fun. Uh, they're really nice guys. And uh, the, the crowd's been really fun. Uh, fun. I guess yeah. is the word is the word for so it. So you guys have been keeping busy a lot too because you just released this single with Jamie N. Commons and then you just also released our vinyl sessions, was it? Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, yeah we were in Nashville and we stopped mm -hmm. off with those dudes and they were really nice people and um there's video content too, if you see the video content that came oh, out of the Spotify set the session yeah. or whatever. But yeah. yeah, we have a new single coming out, it's called Endless Summer. Oh really? Yeah, you're the first one to hear it. Oh or really? Hear about it. Oh, that's cool. Am I allowed to talk about that? Why not? It's up to you guys. All right, yeah, we got a new single coming out. We're really excited about it. It's called In the Summer. That's exactly what we're going to Should be out though. soon. Yeah. New music. So you guys plan on releasing a new album at all anytime within the next year or so? Yeah. Um, we've got a bunch of songs done, written now, and we're just in the process of picking through them and uh, finding, out, finding which ones we want to put on the record. You guys all started recording by yourself now. You guys are not on a label anymore. AJR also records in their living room. Their first album is called Living Room, and now you guys are also recording in your living rooms. Is it a, a weird shift for that, from going to studios to now recording by yourselves? I mean, I think we all started that way anyway, so the big studios, sure, it's, it's, it's fun, mm -hmm. but to be honest, it's kind of like stressful sometimes because, you know, you're on a, you know, you're on the clock when you're in, in the big studios. So the living room is a little bit more, you know, it just allows you to be creative in your own, you know, pace. So I don't know, we, we enjoy it, but of course, you know, it's always fun to go into big studios and and have fun in them. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. So uh, before we started, I was talking about one of my favorite songs is Way Back When. And um, you guys recorded it in under 30 minutes, which is crazy because actually some of the best songs have been recorded and written in under 15 or 30 minutes. And I want to know, have you guys ever even watched the movie? For uh, the Peabody and Sherman movie, of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> on an airplane. On your on your airplane. Yeah. So when, did you guys watch? Yeah, it? on our on our. <laughs> jet, jet, uh, jet, oh, jet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the movie didn't do that well. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, um, it was funny because I happened to end up watching it um, after I saw you guys, and then um, when I heard it, I was like, "That's Chris. I recognized your sound right away because you guys have a pretty good signature sound." Um, which is, you know, uh, as you guys said before, it's like North meets South, mm. which is a really cool vibe, which I can't really uh, name or pinpoint another band that does that. Mm. So nice. um, I'm glad that you guys watch the movies because um, some artists, you know, what their music is in movies, they don't even watch it. You guys have been doing remixes lately. So you guys remix Small Pools, Passenger Side, and uh, X Ambassadors on Steady. So we, how'd you guys come about doing that? And are you going to have any more coming up soon? Yeah, definitely. We'll have more. Um... We love doing remixes, it's really fun, but those two came about just because we are friends with both of those bands. Mm -hmm. We toured with both of those bands and um, got to hear the songs kind of firsthand, night after night, you know, and nice. therefore wanted to sort of take a new, take the songs in a different direction, put a new spin on it. Um, but yeah, we love doing remixes. It's, yeah. it's a nice little kind of alter ego. That we, yeah. that we have as a yeah, rock band it's, who it's does unique, remixes. It's a unique, unique thing and um, also promotes you through other artists, too, because, um, you know, I, I'm a big fan of Small Pools, too, mm -hmm. and also X Ambassadors, and when I saw that, Passenger Side was my favorite song off that EP, and then I saw you guys remixed it, and I was like, cool. that's awesome. I'm really cool. a big fan of that, so I uh, promoted that, too. Mm -hmm. I tweeted about it, which was really fun. Oh, cool. Thanks, um, man. So, you guys, uh, you two are obviously from Sweden, you guys still take time to go back and visit every so often? Yeah, yeah we try. We were just there for a few weeks in January. Okay. It was nice checking back with the family and friends and be in the snow for a little bit. Yeah. So do, yeah. so do you miss your family a lot when you're on tour, when you're in LA? Yeah, a lot. But it's okay, you know. I like living in the States, but uh, I'm going to go back more often. Like yeah. Maybe three, four That's times good. a year or something like that. It's always good to see family. Yeah, it is. We also want to tour there. Yeah, have yeah. you have, you have toured or you want to? Uh, we have never done anything in Sweden as graceful. We've played on the streets in Stockholm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, it's cool. 
nice. uh, the pre Grizz Folk days. Nice. <laughs> it's a tough gig. Oh, yeah. But no one, you know, no one, no one would even look at us. You know, we really? Like we maybe got like twenty five crones or whatever. Mm-hmm. Twenty? Is that like how much money is that? Two enough for a coffee. <laughs> nice. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, it's Sounds bad. like a fun time though. You know, just no, you know, awesome. jam on the street. You know, it's it's a cool thing. So you guys are you know been touring a lot lately, and um, when it comes to touring, you know, it, you get lost asleep. And you're uh, always, you know, working. So do you guys ever dream about performing on stage? Yeah. I have a nightmare, like, all the time that it's time to go on stage. And, like, literally walking up on stage, everything is ready to go, right? And Uh then at the last second, I realize I didn't set my drums up and there's no drums on stage. (laughs) I have that dream over and over again. That's That's funny. uh, It's like the dream of, like, going to school and you, like, show up to school but you forgot to wear clothes. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it's like that moment of panic, like, mm-hmm. oh no. Yeah, that's why I like when we uh, <clears throat> we share rooms and while we're touring in hotel rooms. And uh-huh. All throughout the night, you hear uh, when I share with Bill, it's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, ah! oh god, <laughs> it's all night. Bill, Bill has a history of sleepwalking. Oh yeah. But yeah. so like sometimes I'd be like, oh crap, like I hope he doesn't like. S- Wait, didn't you didn't you like hover over somebody's bed one night or something? Uh, I've done that to people before. I don't know if it's been any of you guys. My Go brother, on. my brother does that too. I haven't felt any hovering. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely so. watching. You, you like sit up straight and scream. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Sit up sometimes. Um, so. you know, it's funny because I actually have the same thing. Really? I the same thing. I, I guess that's why I thought about. It. I'm like, you know, ask this question because this happens to me. I dream about doing work in my sleep. You know, um, doing press or being on set. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I also sleepwalk and scream in my sleep, <laughs> which is weird to say. But yeah, it's a, it's maybe it's a Pennsylvania thing. Could be. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you guys uh, have been touring with a bunch of different bands, and um, you, you obviously have made a lot of connections. You guys still keep in contact with them at all? Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, oh, we yeah. talk to the Bastille guys from time to time. Yeah, we've got a little WhatsApp group text with Bastille that gets pretty funny sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Can't share a lot of it, but it, it's entertaining. Put putting some two cents with Dan Smith. <laughs> yeah. Just, just friend jokes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's funny. They're it's funny Woody. Guys. Woody is the joker. Yeah. To wrap things up, we just want to know, what do you guys have planned next? I mean, you guys got the rest of this tour, so then what else is going on for you guys? Anything else you want to share? Yeah. yeah. We're, go ahead. I would say, you know, we got new music that we're working on, like uh, we mentioned, um, got that Endless Summer's coming out, and uh, as far as touring, I don't know what, what's next, but um, probably go home and just keep working on music, yeah. that's, that's the main thing, just keep that flowing, you know? Sweet. Well, we look really, we really look forward to it. Thanks, yeah. man. We do, too. Thanks yeah. for your support. Of course, we're excited yeah. to hear more music. Yeah, man. Yeah. Alright, guys, thanks for watching Interviews with Alternative Indian, this was Grizzle, see you next time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this interview, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button in the top left corner, and you can check out our other interviews on the right in the other boxes. You can also find us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.